Hello, Faith Box. Uh, Kevin Lewis here. I am the writer of this month's book, Can You Trust Me This Much? And I am jumping on to do the devotional for today, the 13th. He bowed his head, face to the ground, praying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done not mine. Of course, that's Matthew 26 and 39. As we've talked about, even Jesus suffered from pain of sin. Uh, and just like we often do in times of pain, he asked God to let that suffering pass him by. But he clarified, yet I want your will to be done, not mine. He accepted the suffering since it was God's will, and he responded to the suffering with love. Before Jesus even stepped foot into this world, he knew the extent of the pain that was to come. Even after God turned his face away from him, Jesus still followed through with the suffering that fulfilled his ultimate purpose. Now, we have access to God's throne because of the pain Jesus suffered. And the greatest part, his deep, wild, radical love still flows out from eternity without limits or conditions and nothing. And no one can reverse it. Now, I don't know about you, but I've experienced some pain. And I, I, I'm also not the best patient when I get sick. Oh, God, please, please, please. What would happen if we just imitated that first part that talked about Jesus accepted the suffering since it was God's will and he responded to the suffering with love? Now, it's one of the things I, I talk about is that there are going to be some things that we go through in life that don't make sense at all in the moment. But with a little bit of time, a little bit of passage, a little bit removed from the situation, we can gain that perspective that going, oh, see what you were doing there, God. So if you're in one of those moments, hang tight, find that courage, find that hope, know that there is a purpose. God hasn't left you. He hasn't forgotten. In fact, he's crazy in love with you. See ya.